I'm sure anyone would learn something from that whole ordeal. Yay, experience points! You earn experience points from just about everything, and those will give you skill points to unlock extra bonuses and stuff. So apparently we're far away from wherever the endurance crashed. Although apparently there is a lifeboat nearby. And like I don't see the endurance anywhere, so I don't know why there's a lifeboat. Lifeboat all the way over there, especially when everyone seemed to crash right next to it. Here on that beach. Okay. Take it slow. herself up like that when she's got a freaking stab wound through her stomach. It's a hide whatever. Like, that would have really freaked huh? her. Not only that, but she's looking at that like, hey, I should climb that when I've got a stab wound in my side. Like, who thinks that? There, see, there's like the hand like that, that's an E action. You want to use E if she's falling. Aren't, really aren't that different from the original, the other Crystal Dynamics Tomb Raiders, or uh, Uncharted if you played those. Man, she's crazy. I mean, she just climbed across a freaking derelict plane. Just what? Who does, who ever think that's a good idea? I mean, she must be insanely determined. Or stupid, or I don't know. I'm gonna to pull it off, obviously. Sam's oh, pack. Dang. Sam. Oh yeah, there's some away. annoyingly specific camera angles that will apparently remove the tress FX hair, leaving her incredibly short-haired and much darker hair. Kind of weird. Sam, Roth, can anyone hear me? Come to find them. So another kind of cool thing is a lot of the gear and stuff she'll acquire over time will actually appear on the belt as she collects it and and, and hooks it up. So you get a bunch of packs and extra like ropes and stuff like that. All, all stuff, you, upgrades and stuff that you get for your weapons and equipment. It's pretty cool. Kind of, kind of just kind of shows how you, how you, how you just start adapting to everything by just carrying anything you could ever need. Or herself also changes over time, all again similar to the, the Arkham games where Batman's suit would get damaged and he would get cuts and bruises and stuff over time. She'll get, she'll get cuts and rips and all over. It's kinda cool, it's like she gets really abused over this game and the model changes to reflect that. Looking at that makes looking at her right now makes me really cold because like, I wear a hoodie all the time and she's out in the rain, soaking wet in the middle of the night. It's so cold and you've got one match. It's like if you screwed that up, you would be dead. It's like you would just freeze overnight. So there's like she's got nothing. It creeps me up. Like, just. Ugh, being cold kind of freaks me out, and which is weird because I'm Canadian. 
it's like, I should know how to deal with cold. Well, I do. I have a very proper respect for the cold, I guess. Let's put it that way. And here we go, looking at a bit of backstory. She found the Sam, her friend's camera, which she's been using to record their adventures so far. Here's the soon-to-be world-famous archaeologist, Lara Croft, in her native habitat. She's on the hunt for the lost kingdom of Yamatai, home to the fabulous Himiko, mythical sun queen, and ancestor of yours truly. <laughs> Sam, this is serious. Oh, sweetie, I know. I'm just trying to lighten the mood here. Everyone's so on edge. What are you so worried about? I'm close to something. I'm sure of it. I just don't know if the others will listen. Or even if they should. Lara, you know this stuff better than anyone. Seriously. I'm not just saying this to make you feel better. I trust you. Roth trusts you. You got this. Now let's take a break, okay? Okay. Okay. And Sam, thanks. She's not always this serious, you know? Come on, tackle it! No, oh, no, it's your chance! How, How can you suggest I'm not serious about this expedition, Laura? It's not just Sam's family funding us. I put my savings on the line, too. We've all got some kind of stake in this. The funding won't last forever, Whitman. That's precisely why we should push east, not west. Oh, no one oh, believes Yamata... No one sweeter. believes Yamata is that far <laughs> east. The books simply don't support it. Well, whoever wrote those books never found Yamata. I've talked to Roth about this. There's no point in following in other people's footsteps, Dr. Whitman. I refuse to bet my reputation on your hunch. I'm the lead archaeologist here. And when were you last in the field with a TV crew behind you? Got 30 years experience, two PhDs, one in East Asian history. So why don't you just stick to boats, Mr. Grimm? Ship, Dr. Whitman. It's a ship. You don't need a PhD to know Look, that. Going east will take us directly into the Dragon's Triangle. That's where we need to go. <sighs> Lara, my little bird. I'd follow you almost anywhere, but that place has a bad energy. Bad storms, more like, makes the Bermuda Triangle look like Disney World. <laughs> Sign me up. The stories about Queen Himiko say she could summon storms. Myths are usually based on some version of the truth. What if Yamatai was somewhere in the triangle itself? Well, look, this is the satellite imagery from inside the Dragon's Triangle. That doesn't look good. If it's wet, I can sail on it. Oh, don't tell me you're seriously you know, cons... Reyes is right. We don't have the funds to piss about. It's now or never. Lara's offering fresh ideas and a plan. I'm the captain here. It's my decision. We're going into the Dragon's Triangle. Why am I even here? <sighs> yeah, so there, there was the ship's crew. We gotta look at everybody, I believe. Uh, you can pick out some of the general attitudes of the people. Especially that one guy who's a little bit stuck up. I can't Dr. just here. Whitman there. I've got to find I just something don't to like eat. him. He's just that kind of character that everyone just kinda of looks at it's like, oh you slime ball. At least at first. First impressions. Oh God. What's going on here? Wait, that is a very I can use body. that bow. A weapon to hunt deer. Arrows. The bow is absolutely awesome. I mean, pretty much anyone who's played this game will tell you the bow is awesome. I mean, you can set arrows on fire, you can eventually set them to a napalm spread, and then even explosive arrows at the end. It's pretty awesome. But uh, I'm going to be playing this one with a lot more firearms for some achievements and also for the fact that I, just, I didn't use them before. I'm going to kind of see what it's like when I use them. And I'm playing it on hard, so I might need them. And some Tomb Raider, you're freaked out by a dead body. Sitting in broad daylight. Let's see if this thing still works. Just remember Roth's training. You can have the best form and technique in the world, but it won't mean a thing if you can't focus. 
The key to using any weapon is focus. I'm so hungry. I need to find something to eat. I'll also be grabbing a few collectibles I know are sitting around. Some GPS caches and whatnot. Hmm. I might make a walkthrough kind of later. Container. Who of left these, these caches. Uh, so this is this one's right in that first area. You first get up. And yeah, it's over here. <clears throat> it's right from getting the bow. You just head forward up onto this thing, go forward, jump across, to your right. Easily missed. There's a document in this truck here, right next to where you find the bow. And it's from the diary of a soldier. It happened again. It mentions Oni demons from Japanese folklore. He was on gate duty last night. Okay. Oh, there's a deer. Get its head. Oh. No, no, don't run. Don't run. Oh. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm exactly an expert shot at the thing, but it is awesome, I swear. Bingo! By the way, hunting wild animals, always a good idea. They're worth XP, and I believe you can get an upgrade that will uh, give them give you a small amount of salvage, Sorry. and you want as much XP and salvage as you can over the course of the game. Just, like, farm it as much as you can. It'll really help. I'll actually be playing this to maximize the amount of XP and salvage I can pick up. And we'll be actually generally avoiding the combat upgrades if I can. Because if I'm going to actually utilize all the weapons you pick up eventually, it should be fairly easy. And ammo's mildly plentiful, so that shouldn't be an issue right. either. Back to camp. There, see, I got a skill point for gaining enough experience. All right, Lara. You won't always have some fancy gadget to tell you where you are. If you can learn to read the land There's the first the stars, you'll always the be able to find your way the home. Ghost Hunter challenge in the area. So there's little pendant thingies hanging around. And those, those will be highlighted by your uh, survivor's instincts. Oh, yeah, like that. There, see? There. It's glowing gold. So that'll help you find some collectibles and whatnot. They'll always glow gold. You will note you can't actually grab arrows off bodies. There's an upgrade through skills that will eventually allow you to do that, but you can't do it right off the bat. Nope, stop that. Ugh, oh, come on. Really? How many arrows does it take? Oh, man, that was a different one. There's a lot of deer around here. Okay, I just need to finish this one off, and I'm gonna head back to camp, I swear. A lot of rabbits, too. Smaller animals worth less XP, but they're still worth XP. So I say go for it. You can catch them, they're kinda hard to hit, they're really small. Obviously the deer are hard to hit, too, I mean, well, I just kinda suck. Ah. <sighs> 
home again, home again. Okay, just hold on a second. Yeah, there's another totem here past the campsite. Bam. That's located here. And for anyone who doesn't know, you can actually use tab to get to your map. That's like the one thing I never knew for like half the game. It just, I never saw a tooltip or anything. It never told me there was even a map. It's like, I was trying to figure out where it was. And I pushed tab. It's like, oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, so here's, uh, here's those skills you can use the skill points for. Uh, there's three trees, only three of them are around right now, because I believe you unlock the third one after the infamous first kill point. So, let's see... Yeah, there's the arrow tree wall. Uh, hold off on that for now. Extra salvage, extra salvage... Uh, let's go with advanced salvage. There's lots of cranes and stuff scattered around. They're easier to get without the risk of losing ammo on shooting animals, trying to shoot animals. 